Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this mapping tutorial video! This is basically, I guess, episode 2. Today we're going to actually get right into mapping, and this is for elmlore.com. Uh, check the description for the wiki page for a lot more information and guides. Um, even for people who are just using Tiled, and, uh, tiled itself. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to File, and New, and we're going to create a new uh, map. So our maps are basically 240 by 240 tiles. That's sort of our suggested way and method. And uh, 32 by 32 and everything else should be default. And we're going to go OK. So we're going to have uh, a blank start here. And this properties window, we're going to actually add a name. But just in case if it didn't come up or something messed up, you can go to map properties up here. So map and map properties. What you have to do for the server to detect basically the map itself is add a property called name and just name it anything. So we can even call it, since this map's going to be called 001, 002-1, um, that's all you, you have to do. That's over. And the next thing you must do and you have to do is save it. The reason you want to save it right away is because this will help the structure of where the graphics are located and you want to put them in where you extracted the assets folder. So you download our assets on the last episode. If you didn't, check the wiki. It'll tell you how to get the assets. Um, basically, where you saw the example maps, that's where you want to actually save your maps because you need to keep the relative uh, directories basically in the same structure. If you change them and mess with them, then other people won't be able to view the maps and then you'll have problems. So when you try to submit me your maps to add to the server, they won't work and I'll have to fix them up and that's not fun. So we're going to call it 001. Zero zero oh oh messed up zero one one dash zero zero two dash one. This is an outdoor playing field that we're going to be creating, and this is the second one. So you got the first one here. This is the second map over here. So there we go, and ta-da! So now we're going to add tiles. Tiles are awesome, and we're going to actually add pre-made tiles. And these tiles have really awesome special properties, and you're going to love them. So go to add external tile set, and uh, it'll go to the map folder again. It always does this. You have to go up, tile set, and then add in terrain. This is the same location as the asset folder. And uh, you'll see it down here. You go to tile set. So the properties might be on top. Actually, you guys probably don't have your properties window, so you probably saw the tile set automatically, but mine's merged with the same window. Um, it's going to look ugly. We're going to go through that. We're going to add one more tile set. And oops, I didn't mean to do that. Map, add external tile set. Up one once again. Tile sets. And we're going to go terrain two. And now, terrain two, you probably won't use as often, but I wanted to show you the difference between one and two. Uh, so basically, if you go down to terrains, this is like auto paint mode, and we're going to get that in a second. But in terrain one, you must pick either the darker, the lighter, the grass, the obsidian like, or water. Or I think there's one even down here, sand. Uh, the sand one's a bit messed up. But basically pick one of these as your base one. Honestly, most of them are going to be probably this one, this one, or this one. Um, maybe obsidian if you're doing some crazy dungeon. But mostly uh, when you're doing the auto tiles will be these. Once you get to more complex stages, you probably won't even be using the auto tiles as much, so you'll know what to do from there anyways. Uh, so today we're going to pick, uh, let's go with grass. So we're going to pick the grass, and we're going to fill in everything. Boom. Just like that. And if you hit Control set you can change your mind and say, you know what, I decided that I'm going to go with water. Let's go with water now. Uh, you have to fill it in because this is the way the set works, and it's on the first layer. Now we go to terrain. And we have all these options. Basically, all the ones that say one work with layer one. And so, what do you do when you have an island? Well, first, you probably have a bit of dirt on your island. And it's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember there was one rule we had. Like, literally one single rule. What was it? Don't build 20 tiles from the edge. Well, how close are we? And how do we know this? Well, if you move your mouse here, at the bottom left, there's coordinates down here and near the start menu. Uh, 9 and 4. That means we're well within 20 tiles. So let's hit Control Z, get out of there, and move this till you see 20, 20, and you can go out a bit more. So there we go. We'll start a little island here, and then we'll go out here. There we go. And you can hit your hold down your middle mouse button and just move around freely like this. So there we go. And there we go. 
So we're going to fill this in. As much as it would be fun to use the fill tool, it doesn't work with these auto tiles. Uh, it will screw up and cause some problems. Um, I mean, it's pretty big. It's, it's pretty fast to fill it in anyways. And there you go. Because if, if you use the fill tool, one thing will happen is you won't have these little details randomly showing. And that kind of sucks. Uh, so if we go grass now and place it down, the grass will actually look like it's layering in there. No, it's on the same tile set. But this tile set, the reason why it looks so ugly was it's cut in so many pieces that it actually has pieces that join the two different uh, trains together, which takes a lot of, you know, this is why we only have a few of them, it takes a lot of resources, but it works really well. Isn't that cool? And then we can have a little dirt path. Well, let's build a dirt path. Oh, it's quite a big path. Hit control Z and hold down control. See that turning smaller? Oh, oh look at that. So now you got a little dirt path. How cool is that? Let's put a bit of water in here. And use the water. Yeah, the water looks nice too because if you do the water without filling in, we filled it in, uh, it adds these little like, extra effects like the little bubbles in here. And you can manually add those anyways. You go to the tile set itself, you can actually find these and you can place them here and there if you like. You know, you want to make things look a little more natural over time. But there you go. You, you get the, the gif of it. Um, so remember that. That's the terrain tab. Tile sets, just normal ones, trains there. And up the top here, um, stamp brush is individual. And the terrain brush is actually doing the full out stuff that we're doing here. Um, so the terrain two is pretty cool, but what happens if we went to its tile set, and it's called two, and started to put, I don't know, let's just see what this lava does. Uh, 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 what? Okay, let's try a different one. Maybe that's just broken. Uh, what? Okay, this is because this set isn't made the same way as the other one set. Let's look at the first one. See how it's cut up? All these pieces, everything here, basically cut up into each other. They know each other. They know what they're supposed to look like. You look at Terrain 2, there's nothing like that. In fact, Terrain 2 has insane amount more uh, tiles in it, but doesn't have the ability to do the auto tiling quite the same. It still has pretty powerful features, but just not as powerful. So what we have to do is add a layer. And this is when the layers become important. So you can add another layer, but they might get a little messy over time because you're not keeping them organized, but uh, let's just go ahead and put this darker grass down here. You could actually do this. It's like, ooh, you don't do that. That's why we have the train brushes. And then you look for the dark grass in the two one. And there you go. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Uh, here's some short grass, etc., etc. You can even do, say, a, f a farm field here. Look how beautiful that is. And let's say, let's put some weed on it. Oh, it's breaking. This is when you would add another tile layer and just put it on there. And then you probably don't need more than three, maybe some rare occasions. Oh, it looks a little too far. You might want to add, say, four. But, uh, yeah. There you go. And you gotta predict, like, maybe that's not over, maybe it is. Then you can go and, like, eh, if you don't like it, you can erase it. Oh, yeah, the tile, auto tile doesn't work the way it is. So, oh, and if you're having problems going back, just click another one and click that one, and it should auto tile for you. So when you do this, oh yeah, it, it'll screw up. So you got to be careful when using auto tiles. So maybe it's best to know what you're doing right away. There you go. Cute, huh? Nice little farm. So that is basically using the auto tiles. And I call them auto tiles. It's actually called terrain. Auto tiles are even crazier than this. Uh, they're very complex. You could probably almost do anything and everything automated. You just need a lot of patience, a lot of time, and a lot of work on adding such sets. Hopefully over time we can add more to our uh, game, but uh, it's it's pretty, pretty complex, honestly. Um, but it's worth, uh, it's something worth learning. So uh, for the next episode, we're going to talk about uh, more layering, uh, the fringe layer. Um, adding some trees and stuff like that, and collisions, and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be uh, another good uh, lesson. Um, you can go ahead and play with some of these brushes on the different layers and check them out. You can see that one looks good, but this is meant to be on a uh, ice uh, layer. So actually, we'll have definitely a snow zone, right? And the snow zone will be probably like this kind of ice. 
somebody's went a little too crazy with that. That's why you'd probably want to fill in your entire zone with just the plain ice. <laughs> but uh, there, there you go, snow layer with the ice. Oh, that's when you need to put on another layer there. Though you don't want too many layers. Kind of looks cool. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on the next episode. Uh, we'll go through uh, layers and special layers. There's definitely special layers. How do you get things above the player, under the player, collision, and we'll even create the objects layer. And then uh, we'll finish up on the next episode after that with making a cave with the auto uh, tile system we have, which is amazing. And uh, you'll enjoy it quite a bit. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe and check out elmlord.com. And uh, hopefully you guys will be willing and wanting to participate in working on our game. If it's map, story, quests, doesn't matter, scripting. Uh, anyone and everyone is welcome to be part of our community, and we want to make this into a community effort. Have a wonderful day.